Hi, I'd like to show you how to do a video with your photos. This setting has changed, so you now have to click this little icon to be able to access your secret boxes. And then you create, click on Create a Slideshow. You want to make sure that you put it for at least two seconds and at fade, so you have a smooth transition between your images. Then you click Plus, and you go Upload Photos to Upload Photos um, of your listings that you have previously saved on your desktop or in a folder. You can add up to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, um, 10. So here we go. Then Facebook will put them together and create a slideshow which really is like a video. And this is really great because you get good um, engagement and good performance when you create an ad. So once your photos are all loaded, you can move them around if you want to move um, position and you see the time that the video is going to be going on for. Once this is all loaded, you want to click on create slideshow. And then we'll add a title and some more information. So, see, I want to finish this one. There we go. Create slideshow. So, see how it creates a beautiful video. We'll add some text. I've saved the text, so I'll just add it here. I've already done the text. I have a call to action. Always have a call to action so you can drive traffic from social media to your website. We track all our links with Bitly so we can see our results. And then I have a phone number. I'm going to schedule this video, which will allow me to be able to edit it before it goes live. So let's schedule it for um, Sunday at, say, 8 a.m. I'm going to schedule this. So Facebook is creating this slideshow, and I'll be able to see it in my publishing tools. So if you go under Publishing Tools, there's two different tabs. There's Publish Posts and Schedule Posts. By the way, this is where you can look at all your results. Here, your clicks, your reach, and so on. And if I go to Schedule Posts, sometimes it takes a, a while to load up because it's a video. So we'll have to refresh our page and wait a little bit. Another thing I want to, while this is loading, I want to show you a couple of things. Make sure you look at your inbox and your notifications. See how here there's little numbers? It means that you do have notifications or messages, so it's good practice at least once a day to go look at your, your messages. So let's try to load our page again. Here we go. This is my video. So now I'm in on, this was my page. I went on top, I went into publishing tools, into schedule posts, and then I can see here, if I press play, you'll see how the video goes along. But what I wanna show you is how to finish your circle. So these, this is my video. It's a bit blurry because it's all stretched out now, but in a Facebook feed, it would be really nice and clear. What you have to pay attention to is those three little dots. So always go back here and click on Edit Video. So once you go in under Edit Video, this is where you could add a title, in this case, the name of the listing. Um, and then you can add a location. So this is in uh, material. This is all good for search engine optimization, so to allow you to be found. So if, if I put some keywords, um, then the other fun thing to look at, here it says subtitles and captions. This is a slideshow, so we don't have any 
anyone talking. But if you had a video, if you'd uploaded a video where you're talking, you could always click on subtitles and captions here and then on this edit little button and you would have all your captions here and this is where you would edit all the text that people would see rolling at the bottom. We could add some manually at the bottom but we're not going to go and do that now. So this is your edit captions. So what I've done is add some video details, the title, um, some geolocation and so on and then I click save. Save. And then now I have a beautiful post that is scheduled to go as a video on Sunday. I wish I didn't Sunday. take life so seriously. <laughs> Thank you. I wish I didn't take life.